This is gonna piss off the armchair fitness experts out there, but there is no magic knees over toes line that will suddenly cause your knees to explode if you cross that line. So that means you shouldn't worry about it, right? Well, yes and no. Let me explain. Yes, it is true that I have said, try to keep your knees from going too far forward. But the context for that was in regard to keeping good form while performing a particular movement. Not that that movement was actually bad for your knees. Trying to keep your shin vertical is an easier way to think about this. But healthy movement ability means being able to do things in odd directions. So just look at how many times here my knee is gonna go past my toes. And also notice that my knee has not exploded. Well, the reason for that is because I worked up to being able to do this in a safe and efficient manner over time. Now, I know what some of you are thinking. Of course you can do that, Ryan, because you're an athlete. But if you had my knees, there's no way you'd be able to do that. Well, you're wrong. Now, the thing is, when I was 18 years old, I tore my MCL and had to have reconstructive surgery and it ended my gymnastics career. The fact that you see me being able to twist and turn and shift my weight over my knees isn't because I've never had any trouble. It's the result of smart and careful practice, building up my strength and my mobility. So if you think your knees are so bad that you'll never be able to do this sort of thing, well, okay, maybe you're right. But I'm willing to bet that you can get better if you work at it. Here's our resident physical therapist, Jarlo Ilano, to help you work with what's right for your body type. We all have different bodies, and even if you're in the same height and weight as another person, it doesn't mean you're built the same way. Let's take a squat, for example. So your body structure and your physical attributes are gonna affect how you can perform that. So the first step, just like in anything, is to assess where you're at. So here we're gonna see a squat assessment from our Praxis platform where you can look at how everyone's squat is different. Now I have the three of them here to show you that we're all different. Just because Chris squats a particular way doesn't mean that it has to be exactly that way. Brandon and Sarah are gonna show you very different squats and that's cool. What I'm gonna do is just ask them to squat down. Go ahead, squat down for me. Now look at what's going on here, okay? Which squat is correct? All of them. This is where Chris is today. This is where Sarah is today. This is where Brandon is today and it's perfectly fine. All we're trying to do is see what's going on in our body. I'm gonna ask them to stand up quickly and I'm gonna go through something with each of them to give an example of what you can look for in your squat in order to get better awareness. Now, Brandon, go ahead and squat down for me. Now, notice that Brandon's heels are up off of the ground. That's perfectly fine. He, this is actually great though because his back is very flat. Now, Brandon, I'm gonna ask you, try and put your heels down on the ground and do a squat. It's tough, but this is also perfect and I asked him to do this because notice now he's almost standing all the way up, but still, now his heels are on the ground and this is a different variation of his squat. He can work from here. That's perfect, thank you, stand up. Sarah, go ahead and show me your squat. Great, okay. Notice she's leaning forward quite a bit, but her heels are on the ground. Now, if I were to ask you, bring your heels up off of the ground and squat down a bit more, okay? <laughs> there we have a balance issue, okay? And that's another thing too that we're looking at. What can you do in and out of this squat? Again, it's not that you have to have a perfect squat. We're just looking at where your squat is that day. Great, go ahead and stand up for me. Now let's look at Chris. Chris, go ahead and squat down. Chris has been doing this a very long time. Look at his, his back. His butt is very close to his heels. Now, he could work on this even more by bringing his chest up a bit more. Open up now, but notice now his butt lifted a little bit from his heels. Perfectly fine. What we're trying to do, go ahead and stand up, is simply figure out where we are that day. Once you have that assessment of where you are, 
you can start working on improving your squat. Now, if you already have any issues, get that taken care of first. So go see your healthcare provider. And once you get the go ahead to move on from that, you can start with various exercises that keep your knee probably with a shin vertical position to start off with and then gradually build up from that. For example, we have our kneeling lunge exercise from our GMB mobility program. The kneeling lunge is a great exercise for improving hip mobility as well as building up strength in your knees and building up that capacity and low tolerance. Keep your shin vertical, have the knee in line with your toes because that's the best for the goals for this exercise. This positioning and execution optimally stretches out the hip flexors and is a great first start for building knee stability without undue stress. Then after gradually improving in this, building your strength, building your mobility, you'll be able to move your knee forward without causing any more issues. Got it? Cool. Now that I said that it's okay for your knees to come in front of your toes, there's one other thing that I need to address. Sometimes you'll hear me say, don't let your knees come too far forward. And this is where the entire internet hits their caps lock key and says wonderful things like, knees over toes is a myth. I hate you. You suck. And you're a vegan. I'm not, by the way. So here's an example of where we want a vertical shin for completely non-knee explosion reasons. Let's look at the pistol squat and how ideally you want the hips to drop back as you're sitting into that pistol squat. Can you do that? If so, cool. You're good to go and start working on going deeper, working on some variations, and for example, going down and then rolling back up into this pistol squat and all kinds of other fun stuff related to this position. However, if you're having trouble because your knee is coming forward or your heel is coming up off of the ground, well, then you need to go back and work on your mobility. I'm not going to cover that right now because we have a video here that can help you with that. And we also have another video that's going to help you to be able to practice squatting and locomotion movements in a productive way, even if you don't have that range of motion in your ankles just yet. And going back to this move again, if you want a more complete solution that's gonna help you to improve your range of motion, these kinds of positions, then be sure to check out our GMB Mobility Program. It's gonna help you to improve your range of motion throughout the hips, the knees, your entire body, and also help to keep your knees from exploding. Check it out.